Hey guys, and welcome to episode number two of my training with Daox. If you haven't seen the first episode, I will post a link in the description where if you want, you can go and watch the first one, which shows you a method that you can train 600,000 experience per hour. In this episode, the fastest method is around 500,000 experience per hour, which will not be this first method, but the second one later in the video. But for the first one, you require the completion of the waterfall quest. And don't forget to bring your Glarios necklace and also a rope. And today we're going to be wearing full Daorox. I'm going to be wearing Warpriest boots and gloves, a Dragon Rider necklace, a 99 cape. And for potions, I'm going to be using Super Attack and Super Strength. As everyone can afford Super Attack and Super Strength, so everyone should be having it. And I'm also bringing today a Bone Crusher and also a Charming Imp, which is very useful for bearing bones and picking up charms. It saves so much time. So in case you don't know what Darox is, Darox is pretty much the lower your health is, the higher your hits are. If you go under 10% health, your hits will be double. And even if you go lower, your hits could even be double and a bit. So the lower your health is, the more your hit will be. So I usually try and get my hits to around double. So I usually aim for around 10% health, which for me, is 90 hit points and it's not that hard to keep yourself alive when you have 90 hit points the maximum hit from these fire giants seems to be 33 like 33 hit in legacy mode for evolution of combat it will be 330 but I haven't in the five to ten minutes I was here the highest hit I saw was 27 so obviously they do hit 33 but on the rare occasion so as long as you keep your health above 33 you should be fine. To keep your health above 33, you might want to bring a bunyip. I strongly suggest not to bring high level food. I did bring sharks, but um, in the second one, you'll see me using lobsters, which I strongly recommend, as they don't heal you as much. As you want something that can just heal you maybe 50 to 60 life points, you bring anything like salmon, trout, will be perfect. And they're also a lot cheaper, so it's a very good method to be using. So I did 10 minutes here, and the average experience I was getting per hour was 380,000 experience, but that included a bit in prayer, and obviously constitution along with the kills. I do believe that if you do use like overloads and the best boots and gloves and the best necklace, you should be able to get 400, 200, around 450,000 experience per hour. Most of my hits seem to be two hits, which was not that good. But on the rare occasion, I was one hitting most of them. But if you can aim for one hit, all of them, you should be able to get around 400 to 450,000 experience per hour, which is actually pretty insane. And it also means that if you can one hit them, they don't get a chance to hit you, which means you can constantly have your health very, very low. Even at around 5% health, you'll be perfect if you're one hitting them all because they won't have a chance to even touch you, which is amazing. Now, in case some of you are curious about how to reduce your health, what I usually do is I usually aim to make them all hit me. So I get like 20 on me to reduce my health and directly I'm close to about 5% health. I find like maybe a, a safe spot or I teleport out and then make my way back here again, which means that directly I teleport out, I'm safe from their attacks. And when I come back in, my health would have regenerated a little bit, but not much, which is perfect. But there's always a way on how to keep your health low and how to keep it safe. I found out that, as I've said already, the max hit is 33. So if you keep your health above 33, you're perfect. There are a few locations where you can kill the fire giants. That is the waterfall, you know, below it, the backstory and waterfall. The chaos tunnels, which sadly is quite dangerous because you don't want to run into the wilderness. And if you take the the safe route around, it's wasting so much time, which is not suggested. And also the Binhaven dungeon, which has those dogs in it, which can come quite annoying. And they could actually ruin this method because you don't know if you have two monsters on you, like the dogs and also the fire giants. You just don't know if you can survive from having two hits at once. So I suggest the waterfall one is kind of best to train at. So if you want to come here, it will be perfect. So that's the first method, so let's move on to the second method. I'm going to try and aim to show you two methods per video for the episodes I'm doing, so let's move on to the second one. And the second method involves you going 
to Apatol. So for this method, of course, you would require the Monkey Madness quest. And right now, I'm just lowering my health. So I am in the prison, and if you have completed Monkey Madness, you'll know exactly what this is. What I'm doing, I'm using the monkey there to lower my health, which is quite a simple way of doing it. So if you want to do this method to lower your health also, you can do so. And what I'm doing, I'm going to around 20% health, and then eventually it will lower, because once running rounds, you will get attacked by monkey ninjas, which they lower your health also, so you don't want to risk it too much to not make it out alive. So you've got to be very careful with that also. So do keep some food handy in case you're going to do this method, because it could become very useful. So I did around 10 minutes of this method, and I gained 420,000 experience per hour, which includes a a little tiny, like 1% of prayer pretty much, and the rest is melee experience and also constitution. So the same armors as when before, Daox with Dragon Rider necklace, Warpriest boots and gloves, and also 99 cape. Of course if you wear fire cape or the top cape, any of those will obviously increase your max hit. The whole point is to get max hit, so every other armor you're wearing instead of Daox is just to increase your max hit. These are very fast and have such low health. I was going to say that in case you want to wear some other armors, you can do so, but because they have such low health, you really want to aim for one hit, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm one hitting pretty much every single one. This method would be perfect if you brought a bunyip. They do hit quite often, but very low, like five here, five there. And if you have a bunyip, I think it would equalize itself out. And if it doesn't, you can just turn off your melee prayer, and then if it gets too intense, you can turn it back on. Um, I was turning on my soul split just because I was looking for a form of small healing. But in case you want, you can bring a bunyip. That will be perfect for this method. And in case you guys get stuck or you start to panic that you're going to die, if you run north, you can see that where you get your prep points back, there are two stairs. You can see it to the north of me right now. If you go up those stairs, it's a safe spot. And in case you start to panic or you lag, and you're scared you're going to die, just spam those stairs and you will pretty much hopefully run towards them. As I've said already, you do require Monkey Madness for this quest, and if you have completed Monkey Madness, you'll know exactly what this method involves, and you know exactly where the temple is, and obviously, hopefully, you know how to get here. In case you don't know, I will post a link in the description where it will show you on how to get to this island and what requirements you have. But I was thinking to myself, and I'm quite positive, that this method could reach up to 500,000 experience per hour if you use the best boots and the best armor as possible. And if you find a better spot, you could hopefully get up to 500,000 experience per hour. There are many moments that I'm standing there without doing anything, and if every second I was busy attacking monkey guards, I should be able to get more experience than this. So I do believe that I can get up to 500,000 experience per hour, which is insane. As I've said already, they have 320 health, and they are amazing to one hit. The only problem is, is that hopefully they do not hit you above 20. Their max hit is 25.6, so it might be 25 or 26, I'm a bit unsure. But the EOC is 256. So if they hit you around 25, you've got to make sure that your health is above 25 at all times. I don't expect they would hit you 25, I didn't get hit more than 5 or 6. So that's crazy. But just make sure that you maybe got a sign of death on you in case you die, you respawn and have 10% health on you. Some of that would be perfect for this method, just in case you do die. There is obviously a chance when having your health at 10% that you might die. So you might just want to keep it high as possible. So I just healed my prayer points, which means that this method is completely free when it comes to prayer. So use all the prayer bonuses you want, anything you really want to reduce their health or to be increase your hit, anything would be perfect. Because you get free prayer points, so you know why not use it to your benefit. So I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. They are pretty much just episodes to show you how you can train using Daox. Because Daox wasn't so good when EOC was out, and now that Legacy Mode is out, it's very good. So you, you might as well just take advantage of it, and that's why I'm showing you methods with Daox. Not that many people know that you can use Daox nowadays, because it has been unpopular for ages and now that hopefully can bring it all back hopefully you guys can really enjoy these methods of course if you have any questions post below and hopefully i'll see you guys very soon with another video 
Hopefully I should be able to post another video later tonight and don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to comment below if there is any method you guys want me to try out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.